Hello everyone and welcome on this Wednesday of Holy Week, um, Spy Wednesday, where the person of Judas of Iscariot is uh, presented to us through um, the scriptures. I'll get back to Judas in a moment. Um, in St. Matthew's Gospel, um, we read, uh, where your treasure lies, there your hearts will be found. And I've been thinking upon this truth that when routine is broken, when what we have taken for granted is withdrawn, then we have to ask ourselves um, some serious questions. What is and who is important in my life? I'm blessed personally with a great family and fantastic friends um, and the best parish in uh, Frankfurt and Liederbach. Um, but I am conscious that um, I haven't always treasured that as much as I should. Um, as parishioners, you know that uh, sometimes I can get a bit, um, what, what shall we call it, a bit weepy. But you never get gushing out of me. I'm too northern of England, of England, to be over the top in uh, kind of expressive words. Um, but that's personality. But I hope that um, when we do all come out of this. Um, we will be more thankful for what we have missed. Um, the closeness through the sacraments, um, the community of the parish. And I urge you um, to really treasure those you love. Um, now, I know that some of you might be thinking, I could kill the little beggars. Um, because you're trapped in a house and school is uh, not there and uh, maybe it's small space. Um, try, try not to. <laughs> try to treasure that this is a very unique time. Um, so your spouses, your children, um, treasure them. And so when we're talking about treasure, um, we could talk about um, other things that are important, like um, health and security. But I'm not going to cover those uh, in this very short uh, reflection. I would like to underline that our relationship with one another should strengthen in these times. Um, and so I'm going to go back to a friend of Christ's, um, this Judas guy. Um, he had left everything. Uh, he, he was a disciple. He was the inner, in an inner circle. Um, and I often wonder, different times in my life, I've thought different things of Judas. Um, was he just totally disillusioned? Had he lost faith in Christ as Messiah? Um, was he fed up and not focused on the message of life? And there's the other explanation that maybe his focus had moved totally away to something fleeting like money because um, of the two two Gospels we've read this week, it's um, Judas in relationship with money that um, leads him to look for an opportunity to betray uh, Christ, hence Spy Wednesday. Um, uncomfortable as it is, we could say that um, there's a bit of Judas in all of us. And so that makes it even more important that we reflect, prioritise and and really treasure that which we should treasure. God's love for us 
and the blessings of that we find from and in each other. And so let us pray. God our Father, you call us your sons and daughters. Christ made you known as Father, that we are family. May our lives always be focused on that love and compassion and kindness and care you give to our lives and keep our lives truly focused on the important things, not merely the fleeting pleasures of this life, but the eternal treasure that you offer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit.